Hello guys, my name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to take a look at Manjaro Genome Nebia 20.02 So in this release what Manjaro added is uh, added G support for Genome 3.38 So Genome 3.38 provide performance en enhancement so in Genome 3.38 performance is actually quite well good you can see it in the system monitor how much ram it is taking and all that so in the system monitor the ram it is taking is near about 2 gb so it's in my laptop i don't know why it is taking 2 gb but at a, at a first boot up you will get a, a near about 1 gigabit gigabyte of uh, RAM usage so it is actually good distribution uh, and, and the performance in enhancements and second one is the significantly improved application grid so the application grid is actually improved you can rearrange your apps you can rearrange it anywhere you like and the grid system is actually updated like this I mean you can uh, scroll your folders now so that's the change uh, parental control so there are some improvements in the parental control uh, I don't use parental control so I don't think so where it is the parental control mm. We will search on search it on yeah here it is so there are some improvements in this they have added the parental control about it is on version 0 0.9 0 0.09 so that's the change so next is excellent welcome to Ria they have added the new welcome tour yeah, I'll just see if I can show you. No, it is not present. No, it, it is not present, so I can't. So, uh, Welcome Tour has some significant improvements. Added new feature. The so, so the next is the new OME style installation makes the installation process extremely simple. So what uh, the installation is the you you can select the username and password after the installing the operating system. So that's the nice feature. Uh, if anyone wants to install your system and then give it to so many other user, they can do it and it's really helpful so the next is the genome initial setup lets you easily install manjaro for other peoples so genome initial setup is actually good i mean the manjaro installation is very fast uh, compared to the other distribution so it is nice feature so the next is the manjaro application utility got also many improvements so the Manjaro application utility let's see Manjaro so here it is Manjaro settings so in this they have some improvements so it got some improvements I think so they have the local settings lo locate settings package uh, language packages, kernels, user accounts, time and date and the your hardware support and the keyboard settings so that's uh, the Manjaro settings so it has got improvements so letting user yeah letting easily choose your favorite browser office uh, suits and the password manager we yes so letting choose it is in the front screen so you can see it you can choose your default uh, browser here if i click on this 
chromium it will update the system and install the chromium if i want to remove the firefox you can uh, do the update system and firefox will be removed so i will go to my default settings right in here we go to the release notes so that's the new change you can uh, choose your favorites uh, we also included two excellent forms automatic window tiling two excellent forms of window tiling the include into stew pop-up shell and touch friendly material shell so the pop-up shell has they have added the pop-up shell here you can see no it is not here uh, I'll just go to my extensions and see search here for the pop up shell so this is material shell they have added the material shell also let me see where it is the pop up shell i think so i have uninstalled it no but i have one yeah it is in here you can see here the pop-up shell so they have the auto tiling feature it is really nice so it is in the default built-in installation pop-up shell is actually good for custom for window management so that's the change and the uh, auto uh, material shell okay i'll just show you in the layouts you can see right here uh, there is auto tiling feature you can enable it so it is going to enable the material shell extension which is actually nice i am not going to do it because uh, my default setting will change uh, i have already configured it so that's the change so next up is the um, where it is uh, these can be enabled by genome layouts which are so i'll just I have shown you the genome layout set uh, switcher so next up is the key bindings have been also improved for virtual desktop and more efficiently and automatic dark mode has gained some uh, improvements automatically changed the theme of Qt application yeah so the first one is the dark mode so you I'll show you in the extensions uh, so from here you can see that the night theme switcher extension so you can actually switch your theme like I have did here so I my is light theme and the dark theme Mac OS dark theme uh, light theme so the, like that you can change your shell theme also shell light shell dark uh, icon theme light and dark so it is really nice feature cursor themes backgrounds so you you can add the light and dark variant for that so it is really nice so next up is the qt application so you can also uh, change the themes of qt application by the cave anthem so it is really nice feature to change the theming of the KDE applications here you can customize it uh, I'll just change my theme to um, let's say adapter or my coils Mojave you can see right here the change it is changed now so it is really nice feature to have a KDE customization so it uh, for any KDE application it looks the it, it will look like the Kevantam Mojave theme so it is really nice feature that they have added so I'll just minimize it so next up is the genome edition also uh, now comes with the boot splash and graphical password dialog encryption systems encrypted systems 
we also uh, trimmed the desktop so that it would uh, now use approximately 40 percent less ram than before we now also default using vlan so yeah they have shifted with the vlan desktops and for non video non nvidia hardware so uh, i am currently using xorg because of this screen recording but they have uh, default vlan desktop so that's a nice feature uh, vlan actually uses less ram and they have uh, also uh, trimmed some things so that the ram usage is 40 percent less so in the system monitor i don't know my system ram usage is quite large it's 2.5 gigs so i don't know but after the first uh, boot up you will get here the about one gigabyte of ram so that's a nice improvement uh, because in ubuntu or other any other operating system it takes 1.3 or something like that 1.4 1.3 but in manjaro it takes only one gigabyte of ram so there are other improvements in the kde edition xfc edition also and in this edition the kernel uh, is the 5.9 i'll just show you in by you name dash all so you can see right here it is using the linux manjaro 5.9 kernel so that's about the kernel so and the next is the last installer received many improvements also the uh, okay, installer also uh, include many improvements among other things it is now support encrypted system without encrypting boot partition the enables this enables graphical password dialogs using non uh, non us key maps from inputting password and so that's all the changes it is not but automatic uh, partitioning still use full disk encryption by default so uh, we'll hope uh, you will enjoy this release let us know what you think about Nivea so that's all the changes about this release so it is a actually really nice desktop they have uh, many other things like uh, the uh, they have the setting differently from the I have I have some issues uh, after installing about the song sound so i have installed some packages then it works fine for me and they also have different things like uh, they have uh, actually different uh, desktop icons so here you can open it by terminal so also in the nautilus you can open it by administrator that's the uh, biggest uh, improvement from the manjaro you can open it as an administrator it is not available in the uh, ubuntu or any other linux distribution which is actually nice feature to open nautilus by the administrator so and also you can create a new document it is also not available in other genome distributions like fedora or ubuntu so that's all the changes from the manjar thanks for watching thank you all hope you hope i'll see you in the next one